Before we start off this video, today is actually my 16th birthday. Yep. Yep, a little happy birthday to me. <laughs> but now, let's get into a moveset I've been waiting to release for a while now. And the character's been revealed for, I believe, two years now? Whatever. Here he is, here he is with his moveset. The main, my main villain, well, the main villain of Super Andy the YouTuber. Of course, with with the more recent videos, you will, you will probably say, "Wait, he's a villain? He's more of an anti, or just a good guy now?" 
Well, MK8 is is a it's just a it's just a really pissed off man wanting to fight and just have a lot of rage. And fun fact, back then he was actually based around the hater I had to deal with. Yeah. But now after a bu after a bunch of years, I decided you know what? Let's make him more original. And thus, MK8 became his own character. So without further ado, let's get on to his moveset. Entrance. Happy New Fight. It kind of works in, it kind of visualizes the same way as how Kirby is. But MK8 is holding on to a bullet. It explodes as soon as it touches. And he kind of does a little flip in the air before landing and getting ready for the fight. Neutral B, take the fire down. MK8 pulls out one of his he pulls out his favorite weapon, a uh, cannon, and he fires a quick cannonball straight forward. You can hold it down the charger to increase his range and power. Now I know of all you're gonna be saying. Hey, wait a minute. This is just this is Bowser Jr.'s neutral beat. Well it well, was Bowser Jr. Smash Bros. And yeah, it is Bowser Jr.'s neutral beat by itself. Down B, ammo change. Yep, that's right. We're gonna be tackling down B as it does heavily play it to uh, MK8 neutral B. MK8 will swap between different cannonballs or ammo. Oh, by pressing down B. But just simply pressing, we'll have him just simply just cycle through them, which will go from, which will go from this. But however, if you hold it down, you can pick what you can you can actually manually choose what cannonball you want. As for the cannonballs, this is just your re regular the mill default cannonball. Nothing really special. It's just a good cannonball. The cryo the cryo ball or the ice ball. This is his slowest cannonball, but however, it makes up for it by being his fat, by being his most strongest. Slow, but strong. And also due to it, it has a chance to freeze opponents as well. A bit of a chilling sensation, if I do say so myself. And what's more, and even shocking Ow! No more puns, man. Fine. <coughs> the Thunderball. This is a reverse version of of the cryo ball, being his fastest but his weakest. It's kind of built to be spammable, but at the same time, not really. Again, this is his weak. Again, this is his weakest cannonball, so I'm not going to do a lot of damage. But it is pretty fast. The bubble ball. This one's his. This one's the second slowest, and. This one is second slowest, and it's kind of weak. However, it's a trap type. Of, it's a trap type of item. Picking the uh, picking the bubble ball will have the bubble. Basically, if it just regularly, it'll just hit someone, just do some damage, and that's it. However, a specific a specific percentage, oh, actually trap the opponent inside of the bubble. This is good as a sort of KO finisher. Trapping the person into the bubble and then quickly taking them out with the percentages they have. The corruption ball. Yes, it taken. Yes, it was taken from inspiration from Dragon Rampa. Shut up. <coughs> <coughs> this one doesn't go anywhere. While I see the crowd ball is the slowest, that's only if it where it moves. This one doesn't go anywhere. Instead, this is an auto charge move. Have MKA charge it up. And then once released or fully charged, he can then he can then spray. He then he then releases a puff cloud of smoke that does multi-hitting damage to whoever's inside of it. Basically, it's Prana Plant Side B. And also due to this, it is actually his only cannibal that can be that can have stored charge. All of his others, including the last one, doesn't. Yeah, it's kind of surprising. But however, due to this, if you do swap in for another one, the uh, uh, the uh, full charge will just go away. 
And finally, the pie ball. The pie, the, the, the pie ball. It's just, it's just pie. Wait, what about, where is it? Yeah, just pie. This one is has your own priorities. Whether if it hits a opponent or just lands on the ground. If it lands on the ground, it acts as a slip trap. If it, if it hits an opponent, it lower it lowers your speed for a bit. You can like stack up this. It'll, if if you just hit them with another pie one, it'll just simply just uh, it'll just do damage. How, however, just there can only be two pies out at a time. If you attempt to if you attempt to hit another person with a pie that's stuck on, or make another slip trap pie, the first pie would go away. But yeah, he has a lot of different types of ammo. And we're not even done. Side B, Rage Drop Kick. It's a simple it's a simple moving forward move that has that's him simply that simply just kick straight forward that propels him a bit. In the air, well even though even though it doesn't work exactly like a drop kick, it does it does move him a little bit more downwards. A little bit more easy recovery. But it can also be very hard, but it also can, can backfire just as easily. Uppy Super Jump. This is basically, um, this is basically Luigi's Uppy. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, MK's design is a Luigi. Shut up! Anyways, so, so this is just pretty much a, just like, Luigi's Uppy. It'll go straight upwards and then go into free fall. Just only, just only go upwards, no like diagonal. But however, if you hit someone the moment you activate this, it will uppercut them. It will do a lot of dam. It will do a lot of damage and not back. Be one of his best. Be one of his best kill moves at a, at a specific percentage. Overall, MTA lacks lacks range, lacks mobility, but makes up for it by having someone by being very strong. He's definitely a type of person that is definitely more good on fighting than more so mobility wise. So make sure you master him well when it comes to his when it comes to his rage. Oh, and speaking of rage, final smash. MK8 Destructional Rage. This one is kind of complicated, but also kind of not. He does a, he fires off like he fires a, uh, he fires off some, uh, he fires straight down the ground with his little flame throw, with his little frame throw mechanic. That will be covered up in a future video, so stay tuned. If anyone's hit by it, they'll be they'll be they'll be put they'll be dragged in and put into some sort of weird, 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 like some sort of weird, weird destroyed building. MK8 is there, growing in size of his rage, releasing a flurry of punches at it, uppercutted it. Before before finishing off the building with one giant punch, the opponents which are inside of it are launched away when it when it concludes. It's it's good with damage, but not so good with getting actual KO. As it's not really a more as it not really does a good knockback, just damage. Wait, what? What's up, man? Hey, man. I I know we don't really interact with each other a lot, but but I'm, but I'm still here and for this fighting tournament. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure we actually fought in the past, but we did help each other. But now let's. Do, but now I'm gonna I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> Good luck. I got a bunch of tools at my disposal. Yeah, at least you're not someone with powers. Uh, at least you don't abuse those powers. I'm not a spammer. Good. All I have is my cannon and my rage. <laughs> Get ready. I'm always ready. Then come at me. Let's go!
well, that concludes our Scam Kate's move set. Even though he was revealed two years ago, I wasn't really ready yet to reveal him to get his move set ready. But now he's here and on my 16th birthday. Heck yeah. So, yep, yeah, that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you. What the? Huh? What in the? There's no way we're gonna regret doing this. Not in a million years. Well, it's nice to meet you. Little Mousy. <gasps> my, my, my. This is a shocker. Well, I would be saying that if I didn't plan them. But of course, I did. That's right, everyone. That's right, everyone. We got some more newcomers up in here. Ed from Edsworld. Joseph from SML. Tari from, Me from SMG4. Inkra from Ali Spider. And Blockhead. Along, alongside, alongside SMG3 and Dark Squid, we have some more newcomers up and up for the runnings. As for when they will be released, you'll have to figure that one out on your own. <laughs> but I would say the next video for CBD Tier Battles is Pool's move set. So I hope you all can stick forward to that. But, but actually, for real this time, that's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching this video and supporting me throughout the years. I hope my I hope this I hope this will be a good celebration for my 16th birthday. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope you all are excited for the newcomers reveal. Hope you all enjoy this video, and we'll see you all, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.